All right, this is a bit of a fun part of the day because we are back in your neighborhood again, taking the 530 News on the road. So back in November, we took the 530 News on the road for one week and went to different communities where you're able to learn so much about the city. So Livonia, Southfield, Shelby Township, just to name a few. And we got so many emails and such great response from people saying, hey, you should come see my city. You should come into my neighborhood. So. We're heading back out there today. Karen Drew got a lot of emails. She is in St. Clair Shores. This is a lot of fun, Karen. I love that you guys are back out and about today. You know, this is such a great uh, program, I guess you could say, that we've been doing this in your neighborhood, in your community. You're right, Krista, you helped us with coverage on those last communities. Now we're in St. Clair Shores. We got a bunch of emails from viewers in this area that said, hey, you need to come to our town and check it out. So right now we're live. We're at the corner of 10 Mile and Jefferson. This area is so awesome. Now, I think a lot of people, when they think St. Clair Shores, of course, they think about the boating and all that other stuff in the summertime. But in the wintertime, it's a great community as well. Down this stretch, we've got Pat O'Brien's, we've got a brewery, we've got some other cool local restaurants. Then down this way, of course, the water, where everybody knows that's nine times out of 10, the reason why people are living here, because the water is so gorgeous. And of course, many people see the nautical mile sign and they talk about exactly what this community has to offer. And speaking of the nautical mile, that's one of the big issues here in St. Clair Shores. Folks are concerned about sewage overflows. They're concerned about basements that are flooding. And we're gonna spend some time tonight talking about that issue on why residents care. Take a quick peek. Macomb County Public Works Commissioner Candace Miller says this $27 million construction project is a solution to two big issues in this community. At the end of the day for a resident in St. Clair Shores, what does this all mean? This means, first of all, we're going to greatly reduce the amount of combined sewer overflows that we've been discharging out into the lake. Secondarily, it means that your chances of having a basement flood will be reduced as well. They've served the communities and their purpose, but it's time for change. St. Clair Shores police and fire departments were built in the late 50s and early 60s, and there's now a plan to tear these structures down and replace them with something more updated to serve the community. And as you know, Karen, much has changed, right? Equipment has changed, it's got it larger. Uh, how we transport uh, criminals, uh, you, you need more access for that. Um, departments were, were male dominated back at that time, so we, we, need to, we need those locker rooms. All although we have them now, but it's, it's nice to design for that kind of stuff. The technology has, has changed. Um, the police department has leaked badly in our basement. So again, it's old, old infrastructure that needs to be, needs to be updated. <laughs> All right, back, back here live on 10 Mile in Jefferson. I'm kind of going through my Facebook comments. I posted a picture from the viewer who told us to come here. Her name was Patty. I posted that picture and nearly one and a half thousand people liked it and commented. And so many of them were St. Clair Shore folks. Like Valerie said, that's my hometown, Karen. My children live here also. Hubby, kids, now granddaughter, all graduating from the same high school. Great community to raise a family. Brian Merritt said, hey, thanks so much, Karen, for the spotlight on SC." S, love my hometown. Justine says, love my city, and we welcome you to St. Clair Shores. See you soon. So we want to tell folks exactly where we're going to be live. So we're going to be live at Blossom Heath Park. We're going to be there early, probably, I don't know, probably about 3.30 or 3 o'clock. We're going to be setting up. Stop by, say hi. Demond Fernandez is going to be there. The crew's going to be there. There's a whole cool holiday light display, and then the city is so awesome, Christy. They were doing a holiday parade and they're gonna like kick it off live on our air tonight at 5.30. So we've got lights, we've got festivals, I we've got that. parade, we got people, we've got food. Help me, Hank is gonna show up. It's gonna be a great day. Now, I love it, you know, and Karen, it really speaks to, you know, we all live in a place for a reason and we all have intense love and passion for our neighbors and where we're at and to be able to spotlight this in this way is just really lovely and it's a lot of fun too. So I love it. You're going to have a great day out there. It's definitely going to be a great day. Uh, we'll keep you updated too on social because I've got a little lunch break. I'm going to go grab my laptop, do some work at a meet the locals that hang out. So follow me on Facebook and Instagram. We'll tell you where we are. We'll send Ooh, it good back stuff. to you. Yeah, good stuff. We'll follow it. Thanks so All much, right, Karen. Good. And then we'll see you at 530 tonight. Okay, take care. Okay.